और ऑल दिस आस गुरु पूर्णिमा इज ए मोस्ट ऑस्पिशियस एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डे एस वी आर वर्शिपिंग अवर गुरु गुरु परंपरा द लिनेज ऑफ गुरु now there are many many days exclusively reserved for different categories mothers day fathers day valentine day this day that day many many <laughs> even earlier it was there that practice was there in bharat it is not a new thing so one day exclusively for worshiping guru of course we are worshiping all the days in all our activities we will first prostrate before our guru guru smarana will be there always but still a day is exclusively reserved for doing that and it is guru purnima that is the purnima full moon day of ashatha why it is observed as guru purnima see our uh, the concept of guru is not restricted to uh, any any embodiment instead of that we are worshiping the lineage of guru beginning right from narayana adi narayana or sadashiva narayana samarambha or sadashiva samarambha in that way we are prostrating before the lineage of guru innumerable gurus are there how many generations of gurus have got we cannot say but we are seeing in vyasa the whole of guru parampara because he gave us all the shastras we have editing the vedas writing the itihasa mahabharata and of course writing all the 18 puranas it is said we are so chistam jagat sarva there is nothing in this world which is not tested by vyasa so we are worshiping the day vyasa purnima as guru purnima and on this day uh, all the disciples will uh, go to their gurus worship their guru that is the custom that is the tradition in almost all ashramas in the world guru purnima day will be celebrated of course differently some may be doing puja some may be doing archanas some may be doing japas some may be doing uh, shastra vyakhyas
So always remember in mind, Guru is not an embodiment. Guru is a principle. That principle leads us from darkness to light. Guru. There is pillar of darkness. Darkness is within our own heart, covering the very existence. Which am I? What is my real nature? I am. And it is covered with, with a veil of ignorance. Guru is dispelling that. So on this day, we have to remember this. Do Swadhyaya. Try to do studies and do manana again and again. Ruminate what we, we had heard. In the Advaita Ashrama, Polatur, we are observing Guru Purnima with Japa and lectures on the importance of Guru. And from 22nd, Vedanta Vijayara Satra will begin. It is for seven days. From 22nd morning to 28th night. And the topic selected for the study is Kena Upanishad Vakya Bhashya. All of us are aware of the great Bhashyas written by Bhagavan Bhashyakara Shankaracharya. These Bhashyas are mainly on 10 Upanishads. Brahma Sutras and Bhagavad Gita. For all the ten Upanishads, there are Bhashyas, but take the case of Kaina Upanishad, there are two Bhashyas available. One is Pada Bhashya and the other is Vakya Bhashya. Both are authentic. Anandagiri has written Tika on both these Bhashyas. And the style of writing is that of Bhagavan Bhashyakara. So that Vakya Bhashya we are studying. And now I am here in the Madhavananda Ashram, Gujarat. Tomorrow it is the 76th Mahasamadhi day of Parambujya Madhavananda Ji Maharaj who established the ashram. Swamiji was here from 1939 to 1948. On 1948 Guru Purnima day he attained Mahasamadhi. So all the Guru Purnima days are Anniversaries of that Mahasamadhi day. So always move towards light. Think about that effulgence. Our inner self is that effulgence itself. But we are covering with many, many coverings, curtains, and uh, 
we are considering ourselves differently. So many interpolations. With the help of Shastra, we have to remove all this. For that, we will have the grace of Guru. The grace of Guru is always there. As well said in the in the Upanishad itself, Sustiva Paraya Tamasa Parasta. To transcend the realm of ignorance, may you have the success. That is the meaning of that mantra. That is the grace showered over us on the whole world. We can have that grace and do our sadhanas. And realize for ourselves our own unlimited existence, nature. We are considering ourselves as limited beings. And we are uh, having sorrows, pain and pleasure, all the dualities. Because we are considering ourselves as limited. No. I am the unlimited self. I am the unlimited being. That thought must be there within. And from where we will get that? From Shastras. And the Shastras we are getting from our Guru. And our Guru is not a person Not the embodiment of uh, five elements, no. Through him or through her, the entire Guru Parampara is represented. So keep that in mind. Because nowadays we are seeing different types of sectarianism. My Guru, your Guru. My Guru is greater than your Guru. And our Ashrama is greater than your Ashrama. Your Guru is an ordinary Guru. My Guru is something celestial. Such foolishness we are hearing. Why? We are considering Guru as a person. No. He is not a person. He or she is representing the whole of Guru Parampara then there is no contradiction. So have that vision within. If the world is flowing, we need not be a part of that flow. We must have our own individuality and stand for even if we are alone in this world, nobody is together. Nobody is following. Let them look their own path. I am here with conviction. Have that conviction. 